Hello. <coughs> Sorry. Hello and welcome back to Clash Royale. I haven't posted this week. These videos in a while. In a long freaking while. I'm actually a bit sick right now, so my voice may sound a bit weird, and sorry if I will cough. Cough? Yeah. <coughs> yeah. I missed recording this, and I want to show you. As you remember, I have. I have Inferno Dragon and a Miner in my little Roki account. And I created a deck that is really insane. When I say really insane, I'm not kidding. It's really insane. As a level 8, I managed to get, get farther than most of my friends. I'm literally... Level, I'm 32nd in my clan. That's not high, but look how many level 9s and 10s are behind. So, and now I, let me show you my battle log. This is actually really fun. One, let's start from the beginning. So this is one day ago. One defeat, draw. One win, defeat, defeat. Oh yeah, that was, I believe, and I got really unlucky with. Four losses, one win. Then... 2 win, 3 win, 4 win, 5 win, 6 win, loss, and 8 win. 8 wins to 5 losses, that's actually pretty insane. And look, take in fact that I'm level 8. So let's start watching a couple of... I believe this was level 9. I faced some level then. So now look. So I tr really like doing that for a start. I zapped that because that one messed up. I got 800 damage. Mini Packer got one shot. That's pretty bad, but the counter push actually does 200 damage I be in total, I believe. Zap was really well played. I don't have a really high level skeleton army, so I swear that took it down. I didn't have an elixir to defend, so I lost the tower. That was pretty unfortunate, but now look. This is a really insane push. I mean, it didn't do a damage, but. It was pretty successful. Now look what happens in this part. He arrows everything. That's pretty bad for the fact that I'm. And now look. I rush completely opposite tower. And last. I, oh yeah, that was a loss. But fail. But still, I battled three legendaries, level nine player, and that was a uh, against Hawk Freeze plus Elite Barbarian. I's gone. That's pretty insane deck. So if it hold it against that, that should be really strong. And then had win against something of a newish deck. I let me. Yeah, that was a level nine. And then got last against. I believe that was a. 
Wait, what? Oh yeah, that was my... <laughs> I fought for a second, what the fuck? That was a friendly battle against my friend. I lost because... Th this deck is actually pretty insane as a... If, with high level cars. I was just for a second thought, what the fuck? So... This doesn't really count because it was a... Uh, so yeah. So this is even less losses. So... I lost, but against such... An insane... The level 4... Golem... The deck, that's really insane. I surprised that he didn't trick round. Then got a win against level 9 with the Sparky. The miner was clever because he only got a bit of elixir. It was still a lot, but not that much. He shared my tower. And now look at this unbeatable push. Look what the damage that I loaded for a tower. Infernal Dragon and by an Infernal Oh my gosh, it's so messed up. Infernal Dragon and Minor can do do on the tower. Now look, that was a bit of spam. Infernal Dragon finishes off. I'm sorry that they have those weird stop pauses because because my nose is full, I can't really we talk without a pause for too long, so yeah. So yeah, I got a couple really, a lot of wins. Let me check. That was a level 8. Surprisingly, he also made real fire, but the deck that he's using, it's sort of a meta. I never, I rarely use meta decks. That was a level 8 again. One against sort of a beta. And then got win against deck that is not really understand what he was thinking about. Sorry. Um, Expo. Mirror. That. I don't understand how people get such a high level minion hordes. Then. Again a meta deck against level ten. Against freaking level ten. They this deck in my opinion isn't really strong, but Rage makes it a bit harder. I cry because level ten. You know if This was actually a bit funnier bell. Make uh two two speed, so yeah. Now look, that's what normally I do when I don't really know where he gonna attack. My friend was beating me. I threw it Pekka in the middle. Pekka is a strong tank. It's the main reason why I perf I actually now prefer Pekka instead of a giant right now. Pekka can hold an infernal tower. If, because it's a two shot to kill for a tower for it. So this was a, actually such a fun bell. I didn't really realize what happened. Because now look, I just defend now. So yeah, look, I seriously just defend. He rushed the the other lane. Now he fireballs. And look what happens. He doesn't have anything to deploy. And I won by such a little. This was, this was actually a bit clutch. So yeah. Uh, then I lost against a, a normal Lava Hound plus a lead Barb deck. 
so heavy and level 10. No, not really that they last. They, so yeah, they're gonna shoot one light bell because they have three crown spots. So yeah, I don't really know what to do else. So yeah. hockey was the fuck was the fucking logic when they they play off camera. I always uh, level seven. I reached a uh, two hundred. 2300 as level 7. <sighs> okay, now I'm uh, not surprised. So this push is actually really similar to a lava hound push. <laughs> I didn't realize that Pekka actually laughs when it hits. <laughs> I think this will become my new cancer. I know he has Oh he's done so I believe this musketeer is enough has enough health to ignore it. So yeah, let's check. I was correct. Now this would make me a lot of problems. This is a lot of elixir to defend. This will be a good freaking game. Because he uses Royal Gent, I won't let him get. That's a good game. Impossible to resist for a double Inferno Dragon showdown. So this deck is actually is really strong. One crown. You know what? Just for the sake of the video, let me. F yeah, I think that's. So the last crown. Let's go. Nameless warrior. Interesting name. So, as always, in the start. Let's go like this. My gosh, why? What is this for FPS drop? What is this? What is this? So, okay, at least. I actually got a bit of profit. I think so. Let's send a naked miner to make him make him a bit angrier. Tactic. Mm. 
so so it's time for it to to bring God of the venture this will take his tower yeah how <laughs> 106 for health. Well, a lava hound. Oh, I know what he's doing, and I'm a bit nervous. Let's just you know what. Let's try be YOLO. Can we do this? Oh, fudging, fudging hell! Dang it. Dang it. <sighs> and then it's off with the last, but at least we got a ground shift. Mm, 492 gold. We got more gems back. 39 spirits. Two eyes golems. No legendary in the box. Four furnaces. Elbow beans. Zek actually like, holds really well against elite barbarians. Let me show you. There's the so against this level ten. He got a lot, a bit of damage, but not a lot. Ellie Barbs can alone can take a tower, not defend, so yeah. We got out rid of it with a bit of positive elixir, but sort of loss of tower. That was a mistake on my end, I put it uh, my back a bit. Too close to the tower and a wizard got a shot to on my tower, so now I tank the elite barb damage with Pekka. Pekka is strong as hell. Against the Furnan Towers, it's looks like nothing in terms of in thoughts, but it's actually really insane. Uh, defending. I gonna. I believe I had shown you. I haven't shown you this. So let's. He. He is ready to pop up the. And now look. He took the inferno, but. He sort of did a bit of work. The freeze was. I don't know what what uh, how I need to call this, but maybe well played. So Pekka made a life to the tower, zap it before it gets to the infernal trap tower, so it can tank, so it can uh, take down the shots. If it gets destroyed, it's not worth it. It's zapping. 
The battle was sort of a clo bit close, but it was really ma real fun. I love when battles get really close, because that just adds intense to it. At so yeah, how did you? will like this deck it's pretty fun in my opinion I don't know but yeah see you in the next one bye bye